Hi there, welcome to day six. Today is a very exciting day. We're going to be learning two new notes, our first chord and a song by Mozart. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Our two new notes are D and E. So we'll start with D. We're going to go to the B string. I'm going to play the third fret. Please use your third finger, your ring finger. Okay, that's what I want you to use. So it's quite hard now because we haven't used this finger yet. So it might feel a bit awkward, but remember all your basics. Wrist nice and low, thumb at the back, pointing at the ceiling, onto your fingertips. So that's D. Third fret on the B string. Okay, and we're going to give a D the colour blue. Alright, because we're going to have all our notes colours, so D is blue. Okay, and our next new note, E. It's just your top E, open E string. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So no fingers needed, just that note there. So let's go over that again. D, third fret B string, use your third finger, because it's on the third fret. And then E, just open E string. Okay, so now you have, I think, six notes. So we'll, go, we'll start from G. G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, there you go. So if you want to just pause and take a couple of minutes to think about that, um, you can. Oh, I forgot to say an E, we're going to give the colour pink. All right, so D is blue, E is pink. Um, so if you want to pause and just practice that a little bit, you can, if you're happy. We're going to do a quick game now. What we're going to do is I'm going to flash a letter on the screen. You've got five seconds to try and find and play the note. And we're just going to go through all the notes that you now know and uh, just try and get a little bit of speed and get into our notes nice and quick. Are you ready? Here comes the first one in three, two, one. All right, well done. I hope that was a fun game. Hope it helped you get used to playing your notes, especially our two new ones. We're now going to learn a song by Mozart. All right, and um, I think it's by Mozart. I've never actually checked, but I'm pretty sure Mozart wrote this one. He was apparently five years old. And the song is Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay, now the reason we're playing it is not because I think you're babyish or you're too young. Um, it's because it's going to use all of our notes and it's this tune you know and it's nice and easy to play because we can go steadily and slowly and you know we can now say we've played a song by Mozart too. Things to concentrate on before you start playing. If the note is on the second fret like A you play it with your second finger. If it's on the first fret like C first finger and if it's on the third fret like D third finger. I want you to get used to using multiple fingers on your left hand. Don't be one of these cheats and I see them all the time who think they can just do everything with one finger because it feels more comfortable. This is all about setting good habits for further on down the line. You'll never become a very good guitarist if you cheat and just do everything with one finger. So you're learning how to use all your fingers. Even if it is a bit more hard work now, it will pay off tenfold in the long run. Lecture over. Let's play Mozart. You ready? Uh, after four. One, two, three. Four.
go and um, take as many times as you want to just play over that and just um, just enjoy it. You know, it's a nice tune. Have some fun. And like I say, concentrate on using the correct fingers. It's hard when you go from the D to the C. It's a big stretch. But like I said, this is all about setting good habits for the future. Now onto something completely different. All right, we are going to learn our first chord, um, which I know is probably a lot of a lot of you thinking, this is why I wanted to play guitar because I want to play chords and I want to sing songs and do all that stuff. So here we go. We're going to play E minor. Now, sorry, I should explain the difference between a note and a chord is a chord has lots of notes. You know, I'm playing all these strings here playing them all together, so I'm making a harmony, that's making a chord, whereas a note is just a single one letter on its own. And the confusing thing is notes have letter names and chords have letter names. And so you see here about major chords and minor chords and all sorts of like terminology starts to creep in and it can be a bit overwhelming. So my advice to you would be to just not worry about it, all right? Just stick with what you know and then gradually build up your knowledge of chords. This is E minor. You're going to play the second fret on the A string and the second fret on the D string. And I want you to hold them with your middle finger and your third finger. This is quite tricky. See there? And you have to really loop up because you're going to play all of the strings. So you've got to hold down that shape and you're going to play all of the strings and I want you to with your right hand let's focus on the right hand a little bit the right hand you're going to just from the beginning and I just want you to gently brush slowly across all of the strings starting from low E down to high E so I'm just going to recap that second fret on the A string second fret on the D string that's the two strings you're actually holding and you've got to just try and get your fingers as arched as possible don't let them go flat because if you get let them go flat then you can't hear all these other notes at this end of the chord that you want to hear so you need to get right up on your fingertips and then just strum it gently here's another way of looking at it Right, so what we've got here is the neck of the guitar, and we're just going to draw over a little picture, a little diagram. So right now, there's your strings going on, um, and then we're going to put the frets on, fret one, two, and three. And then, what we're going to do is we're just going to draw where your fingers need to go. So your second finger will cover that, third finger will cover that, but the important thing is that you're going to leave all these other strings open. So that's how we know that this chord uses all of the strings. So let's have a quick look and digest that. Now what you'll commonly see is chord boxes. It's exactly what we just looked at. And this is a way that people will write down chords so you know what fingers to use. So there you have it. E minor. Okay, so hopefully you kind of get the idea of what um, what a chord is, what E minor is, what you have to do. So I'm just going to gonna hold it down and I'm just going to strum it nice and steady on the beat. So just down strokes, let my wrist fall through all of the strings, nice and steady after four. Try and join in. One, two, three, four. strings sounding. It's nice and gentle. Don't fluff it, don't think you have to be a rock star. Just get the, all the strings ringing, making that nice harmony. Okay, and now if you want to, let's try a bit more of a, a strum like you might see a lot of people doing. So you're essentially doing the same thing there, like raking across all the strings. You're just letting it happen faster. And notice what I said there, you're letting it happen. Alright, you're not you're not trying too hard. 
you're just letting your wrist fall, just nice and loose. And the pick and the weight of your hand will do all the work. If you try and push too hard, I don't know, things, bad things start happening, strings start breaking, you don't hit all of the strings, you know, maybe you hit the first couple and you think, oh, that sounds cool, but you've not, you've not fully appreciated the chord, you've not got all of the strings. Right? Chords are great. So make sure you get all the notes that are supposed to be in your chords. I'm waffling a little bit, I know, but you get the idea. Let's do a couple of, same thing again, but now we're just letting a bit more strummy happen. One, two, three, here we go. left hand might be starting to tense up now so let's take a little wrist shake it off and so if that's enough for you stop there okay if you're feeling like okay I think I've learned a lot that's good just stop there if you want to carry in a tiny bit I'm just going to go over a little extra thing you can do to make your E minor sound a little bit more fun okay so what we're going to do is we're going to hold it like normal like we talked about we're going to strum it once and then we're going to up strum. And then the up strum, you're going to do a bit more of a flick. So we're going to let our hand fall down. And fairly quickly back up again. Try that one with me. One, two, three, four. Nice and steady. wrist it's not moving in the whole arm now here's the fun thing you can do on the upstrung take your fingers off the cord just not don't go on holiday don't take your hand too far away just lift them up enough to not be on the strings anymore because they're very quickly going to come back on again so we're going to go down then off as we come back up and then put it down for when we go down again. It's quite tricky there. So um, just try it. If it's not really working and you're getting frustrated, stop. When you start getting frustrated, always just stop. So let's go over that one more time slowly and then we're done for the day. We're gonna go down with the chord held. We're gonna come back up with the, taking our fingers off the chord, and then we're gonna get our fingers back down again for another down stroke. One, two, three, four. All right, have fun with that. I'll see you tomorrow.